and welcome to Afternoon Express. It's my favorite day of the week in the loft. It's our cook along day, but we do have some incredible females in the loft and they are body goals. Mm -hmm. Some serious body goals. And you're gonna teach me how to get those body goals. Yeah, in the second part of it, I'm making a salad. Okay, good. Okay? So yeah. The first part. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> the first part we did a Greek inspired moussaka. I'm saying Greek inspired because you know we put a twist on everything. Everything, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be delicious, but again, like you said, Salad will have to be here today. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So today is International Day of Happiness and that might be because tomorrow is a public holiday. So while you're watching, head over to our social media platforms and tell us in five words what makes you happiest. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. You know what makes me happy? The Afternoon Express cook along. And today we're taking a culinary trip to the food capitals of the Mediterranean, Greece. And uh, as Clem has explained, we're making a moussaka with a Greek twist. Yeah. Right? Okay. So um, if you want today's recipe and shopping list sent to your device, simply SMS the keyword EAT, that's E-A-T, to 33650. SMSs are 1.50 each and no free SMSs apply. And as always, we're streaming live right now on YouTube so you can keep your device handy in the kitchen and follow along. Uh, I also recently found out that um, our audience can actually hear us talk during the ad breaks and we what? speak a lot of nonsense. Since during the ad breaks. <laughs> At any point during the show, do call us live on 021-430-9881. And if you get stuck along the way, or if you just have some questions for our guests, or you just want to give us some tips, do call us. By now, you should know that Presenter Search on 3 is back, and auditions kick off this coming weekend in PE. Plus, you may already know that the host of the new season is none other than Pabi Muloy. Guess what? She's here today, and we'll be chatting to her about the exciting news, so stay tuned for that. And if you're following Tropical Island of Treasure Maldives, you'll know that last night we were all left stunned and in shock um, at the events that turned out because Team Coral, a clear front runner, was eliminated. The team comprised of former Miss South Africa and Pasela presenter Melinda Bam and pro swimmer Kelly Gano. It was an epic battle to the end, but Team Yellow and White narrowly beat Team Coral in what was definitely one of the most dramatic elimination challenges. They may have lost their chance at the treasure, but remember that you can still win big if you purchase a Tropica pack and enter. Get a taste of the smooth island life and win big with Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives. Via Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and you could win daily airtime prizes, Daniel Klein watches, American tourista luggage for your next adventure, vouchers from loot.co.za to shop the hot daily deals online and the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. For competition T's and C's, visit tropica.co.za and don't forget to watch Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives every Monday at 7.30pm on SABC3. Oh my goodness, ladies, welcome. Thanks. Team Coral. <laughs> I know. Wow. Team Coral represents still. <laughs> to death. <laughs> to the death, a fight till the end. And joining us for today's Afternoon Express Cook Along to chat about their grueling elimination moment along with the rest of their Tropic experience, please welcome Team Coral, Melinda and Kelly. Yeah. Lovely Yay. to have you with us. <laughs> okay, nice. guys, like, your, your legs are giving me heart palpitations, <laughs> both of you. I've just been sitting here going, how much time do I have to spend in the gym to actually... <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's talk about last night's battle. <gasps> it we was actually, a fight till the end. It really was. We and we were all shocked. We actually had a little shocked. bit of a, a viewing party at, at my house just to, <laughs> just to like go Experience through the together. motions again. I mean, it, was, it must have been unbelievable. It really was. I think it both took us by surprise because we really felt like we were at a, a fantastic role. We had yeah. amazing teamwork and we really worked so hard. And We had dominated so many other challenges. You were front challenges. runners, yes. 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 And then we were gutted. What do you think happened? <sighs> Kyle, take this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, as everyone knows, the scores were leveled yeah. as we moved to the new island. So I think that wasn't an advantage to us. No. I think yeah. to some teams that was a great opportunity to have a clean slate, but right. I mean that made us kind of put an X on our back without any defense in return. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it is the way the game is. It is so unpredictable. And I often think that, you know what, you can really give it your all, but what you go out of the show with 
regardless of whether it's the million rand or if it's just having your character and integrity shine through in yeah. the way that you compete and the way that we have camaraderie, <laughs> that's the thing that's most important to us. Yeah. yeah. And what went through your mind when, when Katlejo actually announced? Disbelief. <laughs> Complete disbelief. Yeah. It was a bit of a shock. Yeah. I think it's a it's a moment that you kind of feel like what, what? Wait, what? 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 Yeah, happened? this is not happening. Really? Yeah. yeah. But at the there same... There it is. Here it is. It's yeah, but you know what? I remember having a face. similar moment in my life, like taking that deep breath and just thinking to myself, okay, this didn't happen. Okay, you yeah. didn't win. Now going on. Yeah. Like, what are, you, what are you learning from this? How can you build from this? Because yeah. I had a very similar experience at Miss Universe, like realizing that, oh, shucks, I'm not top five. I'm not like being for the crown anymore. Uh, but going through that whole process with someone by your side and being able to encourage one another yeah. and say, listen, we really, <laughs> we really made the badass team ever. Yeah, you guys were absolutely <laughs> we really incredible. did. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Now, I know about, I mean, when, when in a competition like this, there's two battles happening. There's yeah. the one everyone can see and the challenges and everything. And then there's a mental battle mm. and and there's some personal victories that you're looking forward to or some some barriers that you want to break through during a competition like this one what were some of those for you well i think for me it was all about stepping out of my comfort zone so mm. this was something completely different for me and in the beginning i was very apprehensive i think out of all of the contestants i felt it the most and i was emotional and i wasn't sure and then once I got teamed up with Melinda, I was kind of put at ease. And mm. Melinda is the kind of person that, as strong as she is, she lifts other people up. Yeah. And she has this aura about her that you just lift everyone up. And I think that helped me so much. And yeah. that's why we worked so well together was we had this bond that, I don't know, yeah. we just trusted it's, each yeah. other. And yeah. for I mean, me, that's we, what we I We have become. the selection shot of you um, actually <laughs> picking yeah. her because everyone wanted to be on your team. Because you know what, I think... Do you blame us? <laughs> I don't blame you. I think the, the whole thing for me was is finding a teammate that I would feel comfortable in taking the lead in my strengths, but also someone who, that, who you feel comfortable in showing your weaknesses. Because mm. I think often in life, women are too proud to show our weaknesses and we want to seem to be invincible. Yeah. But feeling confident enough to say that I'm willing to lean back in my weaknesses and have you take the lead is a dynamic that I think is rare for people to find. And that to me was the greatest thing about this whole experience is the fact that yes, we broke stereotypes. No one expected the girls in the pink to come out <laughs> guns blazing. <laughs> yeah. But to be able to say that, you know what, there's a bigger message behind two girls winning together, showing that yes, we can work hard. Yes, we can push when others want to pray for our downfall, which is some of the things that we've heard. But also being able to say that when People think we're going to step back, we'll take the lead, we'll encourage other teams when they struggle. It's not just about achieving your own victory in life, it's about, it's about taking people with you, taking yeah. people with you along yeah, the okay. way. And that's really something that we can proudly say we did, is yeah. that we might have been the two girls who were fierce competitors, but we were everyone else's greatest cheerleaders. That's awesome. Because that's just, that's just who we are. <laughs> like, Kelly has got like butterflies on her hair and I poop rainbows and somewhere in between the <laughs> whole mix we're like, we're like all about women empowerment but we want Absolutely. people to succeed. That's that's really what our heart and our core is about. So that's incredible. Was, yeah. 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 And I mean, the, the, with, the, with the whole uh, movement towards women becoming who they want to be on yeah. their own terms. There's also the, the anti that says women can't get along, women can't, can't band together and can't, yeah. mm. can't fight together, that they always have to be opposed to each other. And I think, I think we've seen some really incredible relationships on Tropica and we've seen some women like kick butt on that <laughs> yes, show. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, which was some of your, your hardest challenge looking I back? I think the hardest challenge besides the one that we got eliminated on was the one where we couldn't control the dynamic, having other teams come into play as well, especially on the like the foosball challenge and um, the challenge where people can remove your bottles from the table. Because when Kelly and I were teamed up, we knew each other's strengths, we knew each other's weaknesses, we had a great strategy, we had a fantastic game plan. Yeah, we worked together. We worked together, but as soon as other people had like this new kind of dynamic it, coming into play, yeah. it was just. Too many variables. Were it were, there yeah. were too many variables yeah. to control, but also 
I think it also came down to a rule of average because ultimately you're going to pull some teams up and other teams are going to pull you down and somewhere in the, in the, in the along the lines you need to like work out a dynamic that is still going to see everyone succeed around you. Absolutely. So that was quite tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I just love seeing competitive women. I just, yeah. yes. I just love it. But you know what, it's Bonnie? It's thrilling. The interesting thing to me is that so many people get stereotyped as, as being like a bitchy competitor when yeah. they see the competitiveness in someone we're not seeing as seen as being driven and powerful people often just want to label it as the lazy excuse of women like stepping on one another yeah. instead of showing that we're strong and powerful but uh, we actually have hearts and it's we've got dedication absolutely and that's really what, yeah. Yeah. I love this world. Yeah. <laughs> this to me is like the best thing that happened in my whole Tropic oh, experience. It's just incredible. having this girl by my side. Oh my and being gosh, able to guys. have, yeah, just a, yeah. a teammate at life. That makes you realize yeah. bigger things. We're going to chat more a little bit about that in yeah. the kitchen when we're cooking along. So if you missed <laughs> last night's jaw-dropping episode, be sure to watch it on the Tropica YouTube page. Also, don't forget that you stand a chance of winning when you buy Tropica. Follow the entry details on the bottle and you can stand a chance of winning loot.co.za vouchers to shop online. American Tourist Luggage, Daniel Klein Watches, Airtime or the grand prize of a Kia Picanto. T's and C's apply uh, on tropica.co.za and remember to tune in to Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives next week Monday on the 26th of March for yet another jam-packed elimination episode. This week on Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives, team bonds and trust get tested with a slender twist. Oh my gosh, I actually want to cry. Challenges test contestants aim as well as their agility. Could you just get in already? Another team is going home. Absolutely brutal elimination challenge. Yeah. It's a shock. Oh. Catch Tropica Island of Treasure Maldives Mondays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3. The stage is yours. Present the Search Zone 3 is back and is brought to you by Mac Cafe. Do you have what it takes to shine night and day and in all the moments in between? Can you dazzle with a winning smile, turn on the charm and take our breath away? Are you ready to be South Africa's next television and social media superstar? Well, this is your chance to become the face of SABC3 and take your place in the spotlight as the newest presenter of Top Billing, Afternoon Express or the Expresso Morning Show. Cordova Productions presents this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to claim your fame and build your brand and a career filled with unlimited opportunities. Auditions are taking place in Port Elizabeth on the 25th of March at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Cape Town on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newlands Rugby Stadium, Durban on the 14th and 15th of April at the Durban Exhibition Centre and Johannesburg on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of April at the Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Doors open at 8am and registration opens at 9. Our team will provide you with your entry form and guide you through the process. Come prepared with a 10 to 15 second presenter link that introduces you to the judges and to the world. This is your chance to shine. With Presenter Search on 3 and Mac Cafe, the stage will be yours.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Thank you so much for joining us. Pabi Malloy is a name that needs little introduction. She's one of South Africa's best loved TV and radio personalities, hosting Trending Essay on SABC3 and her own radio show on Power FM. Now she's been honored with the responsibility of hosting the new season of Presenter Search on 3. Welcome to the love, Pabi. Hearing Bonnie Mbuli say those things <laughs> about me is mind-blowing. Thank um, you for having me in the love. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you yeah. I mean your name needs no introduction from the days of KTV <laughs> to every single show that you've hosted you've hosted some of the biggest shows in South Africa correct and uh, your radio career has been illustrious as well and just take us through the journey looking <laughs> back at your journey are, do you feel like you've done everything you want to or do you still kind of feel like you're only just beginning? I always feel like I'm only just beginning. I always feel a little bit nervous before getting in front of an audience, whether it's on television or on radio. I always feel like this has to be the best thing that I do. And, and that keeps me excited. It keeps me focused. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've done every single thing that I'd like to do on television, uh -huh. but I have. I've hosted game shows. I've hosted yeah. um, lifestyle programs. I've hosted, my gosh, live travel shows, shows yes. live shows, whatever it is. But it's always slightly different because you're always working with brand new people. The content is always different. And, and this show in particular that I do now, Trending SA, is the epitome of that. So it's live. It's with a panel, so it's that co-hosting <laughs> element. Yeah. Um, and you know, everybody it's comes current. You've got to be with a mood all yes. the time, so you're working with each other. Um, and it's current, exactly yeah. that. So yeah. you're always aware of what's happening in the world, and we're always feeding our producers content as well as them feeding us the content. Absolutely. Mm. And also, I mean, there's also that phenomenon where you have to deliver the content in a way that is appealing, that is witty, and it's exciting, and it's funny. Yeah. And how do you make sure that you're always that person? Um, I think you just do. It's just like any it. job, yeah. you know, when you are mom at home and accountant at work, you can't be mom to the fellow accountant. So you just <laughs> yeah. you just switch on and you do what you have to do. Yeah. But it's it's interesting because more and more throughout my career, who I am as a person informs who I am as a presenter. And that's the most thrilling thing. So wow. it's not so much of a switch on anymore. You just are who you are. Absolutely. So you've recently made a shift into talk radio. How different is that from oh, music radio? Altogether different. Yeah. It is back to back concentration, um, connection. It is, it's full on. It's it really full on. full on, but it's all I've ever really wanted to do in radio. So I knew ah. that making myself available to learn and um, stand in for other hosts was what I really needed to figure yeah. out what kind of talk show host yeah. I was going to be. So at Power 987, that is exactly what they gave me the opportunity to do. And, uh, and now I'm on weekend breakfast. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Mm. Every now and then I get an opportunity to do yeah. some talk radio. And yeah. what I always find so daunting for me is just to sit on a mic and talk for literally 10 minutes without stopping mm. telling people your opinions <laughs> just and s telling them confidently and without stopping and just using the mic as a stage it yeah. is it is definitely quite a one of my space. very first radio mentors told me to imagine he actually told me to bring a photograph of yeah. my best friend so that oh, wow. I can look at my friend and just speak to her and so that's something that I always keep in mind. Yeah. So you're, you're talking, you're just speaking to somebody. Yeah. It's not yeah. hello radio world. Yeah. It's just, hey, what's yeah. going and on? And if you have real friends, the better it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a better platform for you and than the show, yes. um, Presenter Search, because if anybody knows everything that a presenter should be, it's you. What advice would you have for contestants? Mm. I think the most important thing is to bring your true self yeah. because I think anything else can be seen through, can be duplicated, can be replicated and is fake. So we want to see you. We want to see, especially in these initial auditions, we want to see what you find interesting, what you mm. find quirky, what makes you light up. We want to see somebody with personality because yeah. that's what people fall in love with. They, they watch you Absolutely. and that's what they want yeah. to keep tuning into the program for. Yeah. Wow, and just the journey ahead, what are you looking forward to as, as host of the show? Well, I think Presenter Search on 3 is going to give me an opportunity to get on the ground and meet people. 
Um, I, I love hearing the backstories of people who maybe were uh, rejected in high school because they were told that they talk too much in class and they wouldn't get anywhere. Yeah. And then, you know, getting onto something like me too, <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, getting onto something like this yeah. where, you know, speaking yeah. and, and being able to engage with people is what is required. Um, yeah. I love hearing stories of, of why people want to be in front of cameras and connect with uh, the audience. I, I love that so much. So I'm looking forward to that all yeah. over the country. We start in PE this weekend. Thank you so much, Ravi. We Thank look you. forward to seeing your journey on um, Presenter Search. Fantastic. Invite me back here again Absolutely. Soon. So remember that your chance to break into the entertainment industry is just around the corner with the new season of Presenter Search on 3. And if you at home think you have what it takes, then remember that nationwide auditions start this Sunday in PE at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Be sure to check out the website presentersearchon3.com for more information. Presenter Search on 3 is back and is brought to you by Mac Cafe. Do you have what it takes to shine night and day and in all the moments in between? Can you dazzle with a winning smile, turn on the charm and take our breath away? Are you ready to be South Africa's next television and social media superstar? Well, this is your chance to become the face of SABC3 and take your place in the spotlight as the newest presenter of top billing Afternoon Express or the Expresso Morning Show. Cordova Productions presents this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to claim your fame and build your brand and a career filled with unlimited opportunities. Auditions are taking place in Port Elizabeth on the 25th of March at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Cape Town on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newlands Rugby Stadium, Durban on the 14th and 15th of April at the Durban Exhibition Centre and Johannesburg on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of April at the Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Doors open at 8am and registration opens at 9. Our team will provide you with your entry form and guide you through the process. Come prepared with a 10 to 15 second presenter link that introduces you to the judges and to the world. This is your chance to shine. With Presenter Search on 3 and Mac Cafe, the stage will be yours.
Presenter Search on 3 is back and is brought to you by Mac Cafe. Do you have what it takes to shine night and day and in all the moments in between? Can you dazzle with a winning smile, turn on the charm and take our breath away? Are you ready to be South Africa's next television and social media superstar? Well, this is your chance to become the face of SABC3 and take your place in the spotlight as the newest presenter of top billing Afternoon Express or the Expresso Morning Show. Cordova Productions presents this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to claim your fame and build your brand and a career filled with unlimited opportunities. Auditions are taking place in Port Elizabeth on the 25th of March at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Cape Town on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newlands Rugby Stadium, Durban on the 14th and 15th of April at the Durban Exhibition Centre and Johannesburg on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of April at the Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Doors open at 8am and registration opens at 9. Our team will provide you with your entry form and guide you through the process. Come prepared with a 10 to 15 second presenter link that introduces you to the judges and to the world. This is your chance to shine. With Presenter Search on 3 and Mac Cafe, the stage will be yours. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3. It's Cook Along Day, and I've got these two gorgeous ladies in the kitchen with me. And I know Clem has got a perfect body goals salad yeah. prepared Can I for just them. say, we haven't even started cooking yet, and we've had spilling, <laughs> we've had things flying Sorry. around. We cleaned up very quickly during the ad break. Yeah, because you can't happens. have everything. You, you can't, can't have, have everything. everything. That's what happens when you <laughs> let right? this in the kitchen. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so okay, we're going to cool. start off with the moussaka, because that's going to take the longest to make. And then afterwards, we're going to make that salad. So let's get started with the moussaka. The twist, we're using lamb meatballs instead of the lamb mince. Lamb meatballs have already been seasoned. Half the job done oh, for us. Okay. Yeah. So you've got a nice heavy base skillet pan over there. I'm going to turn the heat up for you. You can add this directly to your bake. I like putting a bit of a crust in it so it gets like a really nice flavor in the moussaka. Okay. So I, okay, now we spoke about this earlier. Onions. Mm. The, they're not, you're not, <laughs> They're not your favourite. Kelly, well, if you have any car. emotions that are like latent, then you can let them loose now and blame the onion. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what do you hate about onion? You just hate chopping it. Yeah, I don't mind eating it, but chopping it... Different story. It's because your fingers smell like This is what boyfriends are for. This is what boyfriends are for. Wow, yeah, I okay. like that. Okay, I'll, I'll take the onion. I'll take the onion. I'll chop the onion for you. But then I'm going to need you to slice some peppers for me. Okay, that's for the salad for later. And then... I can do that. Cool. <laughs> Barna, can I put you on the meatball? What should I do? So should you I make got the meatball? Let me the heat for you. Ooh, Milan, I should put you on... <laughs> Lower heat. <laughs> Clem can do that. Clem can cut that. Let Clem do that. That's fine. Okay, cool. Chops. You turn up. There we go. So, mm -hmm. Linda, you're going to make a white sauce for me. Mm -hmm. I'm just buttering up my butter. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually know what it is. I mean, you, you gave me some tips and tricks on this one. So, so this is just a, like an easy bechamel. So, it's molten butter and some normal flour. I uh -huh. think. The white stuff. Here's there you go. To our kitchen. So, let's start off with um, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Okay, perfect. Sure so, what is your tablespoon? Because my tablespoon always has like a little bit of love added to it. <laughs> I'm liking that, I'm liking okay, that, I'm liking, liking that. Okay, you're liking that for one tablespoon, perfect. And then a constant stir to make yes. it smooth. Because how do you make like it smooth? Lunch made me gag. Oh, I think, <laughs> I think we can get creative with the peppers. You can get creative with the peppers. And if you want today's recipe and shopping list sent to your device, simply SMS the keyword EAT to double three six five zero. SMSs are charged at one fifty each. And no free SMSs apply. And if at any point during the show you want to call us and chat to us or you have a question, Call in on 021-430-9881. And if you get stuck along the way or you just want to chat to our guests, go for it. Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> so, can I add another one? Because this looks like very So what's your buttery. what is what's your diet like genuinely? I mean, you guys are definitely body goals, and the first thing any woman would ask you is, what do you eat or don't you eat? Or do you eat bird seeds <laughs> only? What's going on? I wish like people have it. <laughs> Yeah. I wish people could see us eating. Earlier. I wish they shot. I saw this image of you guys just eating bird seeds, popping bird seeds in this at, at gym all day. I wish they recorded us eating at Tropica though, because we had we literally had dessert for lunch and dinner and carbo loaded because and everything. Ice cream. No, because cream. everything was so oh this is this is like those that looks a very interesting picture, Melinda, if this was a challenge... If this is a challenge, <laughs> I would suck. No, no, you're doing really well. Am I doing really well? There's not a single lump in there. No, funny, you know what? Yeah. It's just about having everything in moderation. So, I'm someone who... I enjoy flavoursome food, but I also enjoy healthy food because I hate the feeling of eating like too oily or too rich of okay, dishes. Yeah. 
and then you end up feeling bloated and like yeah. just a little bit and you want your food often. to make you feel good yeah yes. now um something that's quite topical on afternoon express and espresso and top billing is presenter search yeah presenter search um the first auditions are happening in pe nelson mandela Bay this weekend uh good luck to everybody who's going to be showing yeah. up there um, just, you've got to show up, man. Bring your A game and just don't be afraid to be yourself. What, what advice would you give to anybody who's auditioning this weekend? You know, I think everyone tries to be or to, like, have this certain persona about them. But yeah. if you're going to do this as a career, then it needs to be authentic. It can't just be this run of the mill and then you switch it on for the cameras and switch it off for the cameras. It needs to kind of be who you are because otherwise you are going to be dead by the end of your career. Yeah, so absolutely. You, you really need to have it run through like to your core, to the yeah. kind of person you are. Like being an interactive person, being someone who's inquisitive, yeah. making sure that you've got a genuine, a genuine interest and also something that people miss is the fact that they think presenting is a whole lot of talking when it's actually a whole lot of listening as well. You're right. Absolutely. And being able to pick up on certain things and that's how you get the interviews that other people don't is when yeah. you're a yeah. clever listener. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. No, but it's exciting. I, mean, I, I feel like they get a raw deal because they're not going to the Maldives, hey, Cal? <laughs> I mean, you don't know, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Can you pass the bag of never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, I mean, Pabi said something interesting um, earlier on in our interview oh, and she said, um, she said she, her, who she is now informs who she is as a presenter. Yeah. She's essentially Definitely. what you want. You still yeah. have to be yourself and show who you are to the world and how that can add like a certain flavor to any interview or to whatever you do. So, yeah. But it's, it's a fun job to have. Mm -hmm. But people, it is hard work. Yeah, <laughs> it is hard work. People Absolutely. need to know it's not always just glitz and glam. It <laughs> is that, but it is real hard work. Yeah, yeah. Sons, I mean, like, you. Are. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I'm making meatballs now. There we go. <laughs> so, so, Clem, what do I do? I add the onion to the meatballs? Onions, tomatoes, and all those other ingredients in front of you. That's garlic, bay leaves, Onions, tomatoes, all things nice. Everything's going to go into the pot. All in one pot. They're all going to get this one yeah, together. Melinda's testing her white sauce. Are you going to finish it up? No, uh, it needs... Um, do we wait until it's completely brown? What do we do? Um, that's good. That's good. So what I'm going to show you very quickly, I've got some layered brinjal that I cooked off earlier. I'm going to add your meatballs, add that sauce, add Melinda's white sauce, and it's going to go to the oven. Okay. And that's our moussaka. It's going to be amazing. Okay, Quick cool. It is easy. definitely going to be amazing. So I'm going to add the, add the egg yolks go to for the it. bechamel. Go just for to it. make it a little oh, bit richer. Okay. It mustn't Ready. scramble on it now. No. We're going for it. Go for it. Great. And that's okay. basically our moussaka. It's going to come together nicely and go to the oven. Very mm. good. Mm. Smelling good. I'm not even doing any work today. I'm loving it. One onion okay. and I'm done. I'm three ladies taking the lead in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I thought we were breaking stereotypes. Ooh, <laughs> that onion is strong. <laughs> oh, but it's amazing. And the bay leaf is a must. Okay, is okay, that enough? Okay. That's it. We're looking good. We're looking good, guys. Really? I'm going to start folding this, guys. Okay. okay cool. What gets bold first? Mm, okay. If I take in? it off the heat, it's not going to scramble on me. So. It won't. It won't. Add the tomato. We're all jumping in now. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that simmers. Um, school shoes and fruit juice may seem like an odd pairing, but for Clover Crush, it makes perfect sense. It may take a village to raise a child, and to do that, to do their bit, Clover Crush have been spreading the goodness to communities of South Africa. And in doing so, they've been distributing school shoes to 10,000 students throughout the country at various schools. And to help them do this, they've invited TV host and model sensation Lala Hiramaya to be part of the awesome Crush Goodness crew and to spread the positive vibes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> This week, feel the goodness on Afternoon Express with Clover Crush. It's often the little things that have the biggest impact, and Clover Crush is spreading goodness by donating school shoes to 10,000 learners across South Africa in partnership with Smart Steps Shoes. Discover some of the beneficiary schools and meet the famous faces who'll be spreading positivity with Clover Crush. Watch Afternoon Express weekdays at 4.30 p.m. on SABC3. The stage is yours. Goodness is at the heart of what Clover Crush stands for and their brand promise evolved into an incredible initiative of giving back to school children. Lending a hand to the Crush Goodness crew was dancer and TV presenter Leila Hiroyama. 
Spring a little goodness really does go a long way. So when Clover approached me, I was like, are you kidding me? Of course I want to be a part of such a wonderful blessing, you know, improving the lives of children, which is of course our future, is a very, very important thing for all of us to try and, and do. I think giving and receiving is a cycle. Inspiring children to give kindness and to understand what kindness is, is extremely important. So Clover Crunch is all about goodness and we wanted someone who's vibrant, full of energy, good, who actually resonates what the brand stands for. So Lala's personality, we saw that she has a lot of goodness, hence we chose someone like her who's good with the kids, can entertain them and can be part of the goodness crew. So that's why we chose Lala Hiyayama. A simple pair of shoes instills a sense of purpose and pride. By giving these learners new school shoes, they can focus on learning and gain goodness in their lives. In the past, uh, different organizations came to our school and then they just asked for children um, without shoes at that specific point in time. But by the time we do get the school shoes, there's a lot of other children who don't have school shoes anymore. Uh, Clover actually makes a huge difference in the sense that this year, each one of our children do get a pair. I know a lot of these children go through a lot of hardships and uh, some kids stop coming to school because they don't have school shoes or they don't have the certain things, basic needs, that all children should have. So uh, to be part of this and to see the smiles on their faces, wow, what a blessing. I mean, you can see how much confidence comes back to the child and that's exactly what we want and that uh, makes a huge difference. These new Smart Step school shoes by Novita will hopefully inspire the children to be good to others and help uplift their community. I get very happy. I felt that my school now for the next year. When I received my shoes today, I felt very happy and surprised. It was me and Sam. Then they said that they had something new and they had something new to bring back. With the hashtag Crush Goodness, we have encouraged the culture of spreading goodness to the community. So whatever goodness they're spreading in their space, they also use our hashtag Crush Goodness to spread goodness. So that has been a positive feedback from the public. Others were asking us to come to their school and some who wanted also to come to the campaign and help us uh, contribute school, uh, school shoes. So we are very happy with the feedback that we've been receiving from social media. To see those faces, wow, they are really our nation's hope and to see them smile and to be happy and to laugh and to dance and be part of this fantastic activation was just such a great experience. It put a big smile on my face but more importantly in my heart. A little dose of goodness can go a long way and we can all do something good for someone. I think it's very important for South Africans to see ourselves as a nation that is full of, of opportunity and that we are really up there with the best. Traveling, I've been able to see that we're some of the friendliest, most intelligent, kindest people that are here on this planet and we need to give ourselves some credit. So doing good and showing each other that we are exactly that is very, very important. And Being Part of this campaign has done that. And let's do it again, Clover, come on. One step at a time, school shoes are helping children advance their education and generate goodness in communities across South Africa. <laughs> what a truly heartwarming initiative. It's been such a pleasure and such an honor being part of the hashtag crush goodness um, team and spreading so much love and goodness to all those beautiful children across South Africa. And we've had such a fun time cooking along with media personality Melinda Bam yes. and Kelly Gunnell. Oh, and don't forget that you can be part of SABC family as well. Presenters search on three years back and auditions kick off this coming Sunday in Port Elizabeth at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. And you can visit the website Present a search on 3.com for more information. Let's fill up the stadium. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So what's what's the next step? Gonna add break and when we come back, that's salad. <laughs>
Crush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in Long Life. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC3. It's our cook along day. And joining us in the loft is Melinda Bam and Kelly Gano. And I'm feeling so much pressure because these women are such body goals. During the break, I'm like, you're doing squats. <laughs> yeah, we can do this. Well, like, do a few kickbacks. Like, Absolutely. Have a good <laughs> and if you want today's recipe and shopping list sent to your device, simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMSs are 1 Rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And at any point during the show, call in live on 021-430-9881. If you get stuck along the way or if you just have a question for our beautiful guests. So. Yes. Now it's time for that salad. All right, so let's talk about who's going to be doing what. So, Kelly, I love the way you've chopped your peppers. I mean, are you not liking green peppers? Uh... Okay, no, we can leave it out. We can leave it out. <laughs> You're going to get onto the cucumbers for me. And then, Barn... Yeah. Okay. But do you mind slicing up a green pepper for me? No, I don't mind. Cool. Uh, actually, like, I'm very... So I actually know the trick. I should have had a knife for, for everyone, but Melinda's got two now all of a sudden. There's actually yes. a trick to it, right, that right. I got taught on the show. Absolutely, go Think, for it. Which one is sharpest? Why what? do you got Do you remember my give it a big knife? <laughs> All right. So Kelly doesn't like onions. So Melinda, you on the onions. I'm going to start making the dressing for our Greek salad. I'm actually going to squish tomatoes. And that's yeah. the first secret. Okay, step back. The reason is I want the juice. Ooh, did you see that one fire? Like, did I get you? No, no, no. Like, yeah. Okay, this. don't worry about it. That's fine. So you're going to squish the tomatoes. The tomato juice is actually going to become part of the dressing. Okay. So you can maybe use a cloth. How's that? How did, yeah, that's a, that's um, a great idea. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> what's, the, what's the thing about leaving the seeds in or not leaving? them in or are yes. they bitter? You can take Do they it come? out. Can they come or not? Like it's not the same like chilies where you leave the seeds in if you want the heat. The seeds of the peppers are actually quite bitter so you can take that out. Oh, also, do you no know Greek seeds. salad is not supposed to have lettuce ah, in it? Really? Yeah. How that, so? It's, it has no lettuce in it. But what is a Greek salad without lettuce? I'm like it's a bunny like a, It's like a, I'm pretty sure it's still a salad. I told you you all have been eating seeds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I like that, but I like my great deal of fritters and the, all the juicy, nice things right. as well. So if the restaurants see you okay. coming, just add extra lettuce. How's that? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's okay, cool. fine. Into our bowl went some oregano, salt and pepper, okay. um, red wine vinegar. Okay. Give it a like, nice tang. Okay. These so knives are so sharp, I love them. You hear that, Kelly? The knives are sharp. I yes. still got the blunt one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like cut past my talons. I've got these long nails on today. I and, like, see you, I see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> As if I'm not, I'm, I'm not dangerous enough now, he gives me a knife and I've got talons. I okay, know. wonderful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, watch out. Some green olive. I was going in to use green or black, totally your choice. Can, how's those onions? Can I get uh, them? Uh, uh, just give me like one more second. Perfectionist, day. Eh? Yes, yeah. I am. You what must know. You must know. Whoa. Have you not noticed anything? <laughs> <laughs> like it needs to like look consistent and okay, nice. Cool. So how about I pass the bowl down then? All the peppers that are done, um, can I get yeah. them? I'll pass it. Here we go, Juan. Okay, okay. So traditionally, a Greek, I've never seen a Greek salad with peppers. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I always just thought it was Feta, tomato, uh -huh. and olives. Oh, not even add, oh yeah, no, and some of them would have uh, peppers in as well. The bad guy is the lettuce. That's when you know it's not the real deal. Oh. Uh. But you know what, what, what are we saying? We love lettuce, don't we? So we're not going to be offended if we have lettuce in the salad. Uh, you yeah, might too, but okay, let's get past all the like the mushy stuff and just get to the good exactly. stuff. Exactly, so, okay, cool. So into the bowl. Okay, my onions are pretty. Mm, all right, there, can I just, like, how clean is this chopping Jeez. board? Yeah. Okay. Like, this is done, and look how clean this chopping board is. They are pretty. Dro drop knife, drop knife. Drop knife. Cool. <laughs> so that can go into the mixing bowl. Okay, awesome. All right. You guys are serious about your veggie Here we go. Oh, fuck it. I'm putting onions all over. <laughs> how, how not neat is the bench now? Okay. That's okay. amazing. That's amazing. Cool. Anyway, you're an onion pro. You're an onion chopping pro. And not okay. even Shit. one tear shade. <laughs> I'm dry to the bone. Do we yeah. add all this now? Everything goes in. Don't use the big knife. Okay. Look at them. Everyone's going. Gonna so chuck. what's going to happen is that's going to get mixed up in the bowl. We're not going to crumble the feta. We're going to actually put the big pieces of feta right on top, like and you this. can break that up yourself. And I'm thinking there's three women. I'm like I should have maybe had four. I don't think I'm going to have any feta today. No, you're not. I'm very <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you might actually be lucky if you have all three of these in your salad. There we go. And that's okay. our Greek salad's done. And I'm looking in the oven, and I'm seeing some bubbling action happening. So we're almost so done with our masaka. So many peppers in this salad, though. Do it, do it. Oh yeah, pepper kind of goes though. I am, but I'm just like, is this? Um, 
Are we having basically... You wanted a salad! <laughs> yeah, but it's just peppers. This is me cooking, like... Mm, it's fine, All the it's peppers fine. won't even end up in the bowl. <laughs> I'll just chow them on the side. Okay, there we go. Done. Now, if you dream of being part of the SABC family, then listen up. Presenter Search on 3 is back and auditions kick off this coming Sunday in Port Elizabeth at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Here's more. Presenter Search on 3 is back and is brought to you by Mac Cafe. Do you have what it takes to shine night and day and in all the moments in between? Can you dazzle with a winning smile, turn on the charm and take our breath away? Are you ready to be South Africa's next television and social media superstar? Well, this is your chance to become the face of SABC3 and take your place in the spotlight as the newest presenter of top billing Afternoon Express or the Expresso Morning Show. Cordova Productions presents this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to claim your fame and build your brand and a career filled with unlimited opportunities. Auditions are taking place in Port Elizabeth on the 25th of March at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Cape Town on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newlands Rugby Stadium, Durban on the 14th and 15th of April at the Durban Exhibition Centre and Johannesburg on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of April at the Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Doors open at 8am and registration opens at 9. Our team will provide you with your entry form and guide you through the process. Come prepared with a 10 to 15 second presenter link that introduces you to the judges and to the world. This is your chance to shine. With Presenter Search on 3 and Mac Cafe, the stage will be yours. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Natural is beautiful, so show your locks some love and grab your cool friends and get to hashtag Clicks Curls Joburg on the 24th and 25th of March at the Galleria in Santon. You'll receive a stylish tote bag to fill up with free samples from over 30 natural hair exhibitors, plus lots of prizes to be won. Tickets are 120 Rand and available through webticket.co.za. Wear your crown with pride with hashtag Clicks Curls Joburg. Presenter Search on 3 is back and is brought to you by Mac Cafe. Do you have what it takes to shine night and day and in all the moments in between? Can you dazzle with a winning smile, turn on the charm and take our breath away? Are you ready to be South Africa's next television and social media superstar? Well, this is your chance to become the face of SABC3 and take your place in the spotlight as the newest presenter of top billing Afternoon Express or the Expresso Morning Show. 
Cordova Productions presents this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to claim your fame and build your brand and a career filled with unlimited opportunities. Auditions are taking place in Port Elizabeth on the 25th of March at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Cape Town on the 7th and 8th of April at the Newlands Rugby Stadium, Durban on the 14th and 15th of April at the Durban Exhibition Centre and Johannesburg on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of April at the Wanderers Cricket Stadium. Doors open at 8am and registration opens at 9. Our team will provide you with your entry form and guide you through the process. Come prepared with a 10 to 15 second presenter link that introduces you to the judges and to the world. This is your chance to shine. With Presenter Search on 3 and Mac Cafe, the stage will be yours. We've had such fun time cooking along with media personality Melinda Bam and Kelly Gunnell. And don't forget <laughs> that you could be part of the SABC family as well. Presenter Search on 3, as you've just heard, is back. And auditions do kick off this Sunday in Port Elizabeth at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. And you can visit the website, presentersearchon3.com, for more information. Break a leg. So, ladies, are you ready for our... Dish. Early dinner. I want to actually see you eat this. I want to. I want proof that you eat cheese, that and, you eat feta, and bechamel sauce, all of that and, stuff. Yes, all I of that do. stuff. I'm Absolutely. gonna pass the salad on. And we actually guys can, like, have a uh, caller on the line who'd love to speak to you, Melinda. Ah, yes. Hello, Sarah. Welcome speak to us. Afternoon Express. Thank you so much. I just want to ask Melinda a quick question. Yeah. Um, how does she stay so thin, being in the Maldives with buffets, <laughs> traveling around the world, jet lag? You can't prepare food yourself. How does she do it? You know what? I think the first week while we were on the Maldives, everyone were uh, very much on their nerves and everything. So that has its effect on, on your whole system. But I really wanted to train hard and be strong because I wanted to make sure that I can pull my weight. So. I did body weight training and strength training and sprints and all sorts of crazy things like monkey bars and battle ropes and <laughs> weird, th weird, yeah, weird things so that your, your strength is improved so but also your grip strength because ultimately competing in an all girls team I wanted to make sure that I was going to be strong and fit to compete next to the boys so uh, yeah it was just dedication and when I put my mind on something I make sure I give it my all. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. And did you feel like you were prepared? Were yes. you sufficiently prepared? Or were, were I think the we things were that over happened? Prepared. Over prepared. Or were like the things that happened that you were like, I wouldn't have never seen this coming? I think you can't predict anything in the competition yeah. and the kinds <laughs> of challenges. I mean, and then there's a slender twist. So. Yes, I mean, that doesn't help. I mean, who knew your life would hang on, like, be <laughs> your ability to ba balance a little ball between two poles? But ultimately, I think the, the mental preparation is one thing. Being away for three weeks and having to be in a constant competitive environment. You used to that. I mean, like competitive <laughs> swimmer, this is was your used vibe. To it. What, it was yeah, used to it. Tell us a little bit about your swimming, Kelly. Yeah. Um, I used to be a South African swimmer, but unfortunately, I had a double knee operation. So oh. that kind of put me out. Um, but yeah. But now, Kelly, I mean, she's got this big fitness dream that she's working on that inspires me <laughs> because, I mean, her whole focus is really on making sure that women can be fit and healthy, whether you're a mum or whether you're a student or whoever. So I'm very proud of this girl. She's, yeah, she's just, it's just the beginning for her. She is incredible. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you for guys. joining us today and inspiring us. This um, looks amazing. I was going to skip gym tomorrow because it's a holiday, but I won't be. <laughs> and tomorrow is Human Rights Day. And while you enjoy the day, of make sure you tune into Afternoon Express as we sit down with motivational speaker and author Sibule Lesibaka. Okay, so guys, please taste some and tell me what you think. Bon appetit. Yes. <gasps> this looks amazing. Hold on. I'm going straight for the meat. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Happy eating. <laughs> Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.